Are you ready to dive into the dynamic world of 2 Thessalonians? Get ready to uncover the key themes of perseverance, encouragement, and standing firm in the face of adversity. In the bustling city of Thessalonica, where faith meets resilience, it's here that the Apostle Paul writes a letter filled with love and support to the faithful believers in Thessalonica. Written shortly after 1 Thessalonians, around A.D. 51, 52, this letter is like a beacon of light in a world of darkness. So, what's the mystery behind this letter? It's all about strengthening faith and offering hope. Second, Thessalonians is packed with practical wisdom, heartfelt encouragement, and a call to stand firm in the face of trials. Get ready to be inspired. Hold on to your hats, folks. Second, Thessalonians reminds us that even in the midst of trials and tribulations, we can persevere with faith and courage. From enduring persecution to standing firm in the truth, Paul's words echo down through the ages, urging us to press on in the face of adversity. Who's in need of some encouragement today? In 2 Thessalonians, Paul offers words of comfort and hope to believers facing difficult circumstances. From reminding us of the promise of Christ's return to encouraging us to hold fast to the teachings we've received, Paul's message is a source of strength in times of trouble. Ready to stand firm? 2 Thessalonians calls us to stand firm in our faith, holding fast to the truth of the gospel and resisting the pressures of the world. Whether it's through prayer, perseverance, or community support, Paul urges us to remain steadfast in our commitment to Christ. As we wrap up our journey through 2 Thessalonians, let's remember that its timeless truths are just as relevant today as they were in ancient times. Aren't it? Our faith in Christ gives us the strength to endure, the courage to persevere, and the hope to press on, no matter what challenges we may face. So, here's the million-dollar question. How will you apply the lessons of perseverance and encouragement found in 2 Thessalonians to your own life? Let's stand firm together and thrive in the midst of 